Yo, welcome back to the channel, fellas. Whoa, my mic just went everywhere. There we go. Let's see, boop, boop, boop. Cool. All right, guys. So we finally got some more nom nom news today. Uh, technically, we got this last night, and so I just wanted to make a quick video regarding it and, and kind of give my thoughts, right? So, Proto Pack Volume Three is on the fast track for production, and we've been working closely with the printer to assure that these are the best looking cards yet. Get ready for some famous Mount City de delicacies, sweets, and salty treats. Also, with the stretch goal for the new UI being unlocked, we decided Volume 3 was a perfect opportunity to test the new look. They are proto prototypes after all, and with each series, we learn how to achieve a better product for our Kickstarter base set. Can't wait to see these in person. Now, so that's pretty interesting, right? So I remember I got confirmation from them uh, a few weeks back saying that they didn't want to use the new UI or the new hollow, like hollow foiling pattern on the prototype cards because uh, they were wanting to, you know, just keep the prototype cards separate from like the Kickstarter. But I, I kind of agree with this. I figured I figured it was kind of smart for them to start implementing the UI changes and even like the hollow foiling technique to, to start working on it now before the Kickstarter starts getting printed so they can start to tweak any of the, you know, to tweak anything that they need to adjust to make sure that the final product comes out looking good and it's higher quality, etc. So very cool, very excited for that. So volume three is officially gonna have the new UI whether that means we're going to get the new hollow foiling, I, I don't know. I'm hoping we will see the new hollow foiling technique either in volume three or possibly volume four. Uh, I wouldn't, I still wouldn't like hold, you know, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, what's what I'm looking for? Golly. I wouldn't put it past them to just say, hey, no, we're going to save the hollow foiling for the Kickstarter release because they did mention they had to like special order this hollow foiling. And so who knows? We we may not see it for volume three, but we might we might see it for volume four. I think it would be a good opportunity for them to kind of test everything out prior to to the Kickstarter being, uh, you know, fulfilled. So very cool. So uh, let's see where else we're at. Uh, we'll keep you in the loop with production updates. The printer has prioritized this project, so I expect to hear good news within a week or so. Thank you all for your patience and support. These are the early days of Nam Nam, the dawn of an age, and the team is busy bringing it all to life. The wild success of the Kickstarter has only made us that much more serious about doing this the right way with the highest quality and making Nam Nam Verse the best possible game it can be. Are you ready? Press start. P.S. Volume 4 announcement incoming tomorrow. So today. So today we should hear a Volume 4 announcement. Now, from my understanding, they were going to be giving us an announcement for when the packs go live for pre-order. Uh, my assumption is it's going to be probably first week of April, maybe, maybe second week of April when we start, uh, when we get the pre-order window opened up to be able to order the volume four proto packs with volume three on the fast track and them expecting them to, to hear something, you know, pr possibly by the end, I'm sorry, I guess possibly by middle of next week at this point, that's good news because it could mean that they are going to be producing them pretty quickly and shipping them out within I don't know. I would expect these volume three packs to start shipping out during, probably around April time. So I would assume they would ship out and people would start receiving them either near the time that the volume four pre-orders go live or maybe a little bit after that. But we'll see. But uh, that's that's where I'm at now. Here's the cool thing. Right. So let me, let me go and see if I can open this right here for you guys. So they did show off some more art, some more cards. So you got the clown shark. Teyaki, and that's a food suite. This looks to be an uncommon. Then you got the fried bubble crab delicacy. It looks really actually that artwork looks really really cool. This one looks to be a an uh, an SR, so a super rare because it's purple. And then you have the spicy, basically the spicy noodles that we saw that we've seen uh, teased before for Volume Three. This one looks to be a rare. Now, the cool one, obviously, is Mugi. So they haven't shown off the SR. They haven't shown off the, uh, I'm sorry, not the SR. The, uh, they haven't shown off the, the Phenomenal or the Astronomical yet. But Mugi looks to be an S, a super duper rare, an SDR. You can tell by the little symbol down here. It's orange. So Mugi is making his appearance in Volume 3 Proto Packs, which is extremely exciting. And if I'm not mistaken, it looks like there are, so he's number 20. Oh, I guess he's number 28 of 29 so he's number 28 of 29 um how many how many uh what is that like an extra nine cards in volume three maybe because i think we were at maybe here 
Let me check. I, ha I have some of these cards here somewhere. Give me one second. Okay, so yeah, so it's actually, so it looks to be a total of 10 new cards uh, if you include the astronomical. So we should be getting, you know, basically one one of each higher rarities. So you should be getting, uh, I'm assuming possibly two, two uh, SRs, right? So, uh, super, super rares, one super duper rare, and then one phenomenal, and then one astronomical. So basically these four, I mean, they're, we've already gotten four of these teased for us right off from the get-go, which is a little under half of them. So very, but very, very cool, man. Mugi is going to be the one that uh, obviously is going to be one of my chases. I really like Mugi and his design, and I can't wait to add him to my collection. I've already, like I said in one of my previous videos, I did send off some Nom Nom Verse cards to grade at CGC. So I think the next time I send some off will be when Volume 4 is out. I will probably send out a few of those if I get some of the, the, the cool hits and cards that I want to keep. And uh, we'll go from there. But yeah, Moogie's coming. I don't know who the the phenomenal and astronomical like the astronomical one is gonna be pretty rare, I think. Uh, well, the astronomical would be like the golden turtle stuff. So that's technically the astronomical, but the the uh, the phenomenal. I don't know if it's gonna be like. I don't know, man. I don't know what, what the what the phenomenal is going to be because there's so many good options because it could be like it could be like uh, the chef. I think I mentioned in one of my previous videos. There, there's like there's Gordon Blue. That's a chef, which would be right in line with the theme of volume three. I think, in my opinion, I, I feel like if we don't see Gordon Blue as either the phenomenal or maybe another, you know, uh like another, I don't know, what, what's it, a super rare, right, or super duper rare, um, then that would be kind of a, a disservice to the to the to the volume three. I really, I really want to say that either Gordon Blue is going to be uh, phenomenal or probably an SDR. I'm assuming he he would have to come out in this. And in terms of because so far for volume one and two we've gotten idols, right? So this should, the the astronomical of this set should be an idol. Um, at least from what we've we've been seeing, right? So I don't know, man. I'm very excited, but I'm I'm happy to see Moogie's gonna be a part of it. I'm again, my guess, my educated guess on who the phenomenal will be, will likely be, in my opinion, it has to be Gordon Blue, or at least Gordon Blue has to be in the set. Then you also have like the Chicken Head dude. Um, that's another one that could be in there because again, you know. The whole motive is like food-based cards, and he has a whole chicken, whatever, dude. I'm droning on, but the moment we receive these in hand, fellas, I will make sure to open them up for you guys to see what we pull. And fingers crossed that we can actually get uh, the bigger hits like Moogie. I really want a Moogie. I really want his. Obviously, I want a Phenomenal, and if I pull an Astronomical, and that's great, but I don't expect to pull an Astronomical. But uh, that's that's where I'm at, man. Very excited. And also, another, another note, right? If you guys are on the Discord and you saw this, did you guys notice that Cytheratops is getting a whole new artwork for what seems to be the Kickstarter? So the Cytheratops doorway art is now, like, it's just a different artwork that they used for the prototype. So this is officially Cytheratops artwork from what I can tell. And, and honestly, I really dig it. I really like the background in this one. I really like how they've added, like, the trees and stuff in the background, which may go back to the whole, the whole thing of, like, hey, we're going to be... We're going to be editing, you know, the backgrounds of, of a lot of the cards and like manually or like actually drawing out the backgrounds and not and not using just like a, you know, just a, like a basic background per se. So I really, really dig it. I'm really happy that they added a background to Cytheratops to make it look more, you know, like it's on grass. It looks good. It looks really good. I'm excited to see all the cards for the Kickstarter, obviously, as I'm sure you guys are. Um, Amos looks like he's going to be keeping that same background, same artwork from the looks of it. But uh, regardless, man, very exciting times. Very excited to receive the packs and check out the new UI in person. So appreciate you guys tuning in to this quick nom nom video regarding the, the announcement for Protopack Volume 3. And stay tuned for the next one regarding Volume 4, when you can expect the drop to happen, you know, and like pro tips on how to make sure that you can actually snag a couple packs for yourself when they do go live. So thanks again. We'll see you all soon.